Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Camila aka Kami Seming and welcome to this new speed build. As you can see today we are building in Glimmerbrook which is the world that comes with the Realm of Magic expand no game pack <laughs> actually and this is the first build that I'm sharing with you that's in this world because yeah I love magic, I love everything that has to do with it i read a ton of fantasy books and yeah so i'm a fan but when it came to build to building here i didn't have the right inspiration so i already built one um a house here and you can actually find it on the gallery because i um i thought i would make like a speed speed build out of it but in the end i didn't like it as much so there's no speed build of it but you can still download it it's a sort of um magical tree house um, it's very simple it's nothing too fancy or too out of the world but i didn't like it really so yeah it just wasn't like the perfect uh, thing the perfect build for me to introduce you to my building style for Glimmerbrook. So here we are now with an actual house here in Glimmerbrook. This is a whimsical, magical family home for three people. Um, there is room for two parents and their teen. I imagine that they have a teen. It can also be a kid, but yeah, I imagine that they were teens so yeah and they of course have like a couple of cats because um they are spellcasters and i don't know magic and cats all go very well together and for the past minute you saw me like fiddling with the exterior shape because i wanted it to be a little like quirky if you can say it that, that way like a bit weird and with a lot of rounded pieces and uh, weird roofing styles so yeah it took me a little bit to to find the right i don't know the right vibe that i wanted and in the end i completely changed changed the facade of the house and i removed one of the two like lateral pieces that you can see from the front of the house because i don't know it gave a little bit more dimension it was more interesting to look at so i like it really mm, more now i like it more yeah i don't know <laughs> that sentence sounded so strange to me okay um but yeah and also the floor plan in particular um upstairs um took me a while to figure out because it's pretty narrow and there's that whole like side of the build like on the right side um that's a very tiny space so both downstairs and upstairs but upstairs is it's even tinier so actually no downstairs it's not that tiny because it too it's two tiles wider than upstairs so yeah or even three possibly so and as you can see here, I'm now like fiddling with it, working my way around the floor plan because I didn't want to, I didn't know how to to do it. I wanted, I wanted it to be very closed off. And in the end, to do it, I simply deleted the back door and changed it for um, a door from Island Livic, which which kind of looks like a back door. Um, yeah, it can be like a pretty cool back door for some regular regular houses like cottages or um other kinds of houses like like this one and so yeah you can use it also like somewhere else other than on the on the islands in Sulai and I was pretty happy about this choice and yeah so that was the necessary step for me to actually ach achieve a good floor plan so i fl a floor plan that i really like to build this house i took inspiration from from pinterest now um this house doesn't look like at all like the one that i saw on pinterest but the feature that was like really um speaking to me was that like kind of side yard on the front of the house like that's connected to 
yeah to the entryway sort of and you can access it from that platform on the front and i thought it was so cool so pretty and yeah i liked the look of it very much it ends up being like a sort of garden area so with some planters planters and some like a fake flower bench flower making bench I don't know how to call it but you will see it in just a second that non-functional one that came with eco lifestyle and yeah so the front of the house is really like unique in my opinion I never I've never done something similar to this one and I also loved to be able to finally use that fence that we got from get together with those kind of ivy all around of it because I um wanted to use it and i never found the right spot for it and here i went in debug to find those kind of trees that are in, also in base game but the one from base game are like lighter and i wanted them to be a little bit darker and i think those are so much prettier i wish that we had them like in the regular catalog like it's no big deal you can just enter a couple of cheats and you can find them really easily but i don't know i think they are so much better than the like original ones and so yeah i just wish they were also in the normal in the usual catalog and so i kept the landscaping pretty lush with a lot of green not too many flowers but then there was like no flower at all so i added some pops of color like yellow and orange here and there and here on the back we will be doing at the end of the video like a very chill area with like a cauldron a very huge cauldron there is one also inside but i don't know maybe for rituals or something like more special they wanted to use one outside so i gave them one okay so my mom just arrived and i had to stop recording because i'm like super self-conscious when it comes to um recording voiceovers and by the way i'm recently i've been so obsessed with those like bay window seats so i'm sorry but i will anticipate you right now that you will see a lot of them in the next um couple of videos um i just don't know why i love them and recently i've been like making more room for them because even though i like them very much i don't use them often and it's such a shame because they are so cute so yeah i used i used one here and i think it's so cute and by the way yes um yeah i'm a really self-conscious person in general but also when it comes to youtube like mostly no one knows that i'm doing youtube and also my mom and my brother know but i like to keep things to myself so and my mom i don't think she really knows what i'm doing what i'm actually doing when i tell her that i'm doing youtube videos i don't know um but yeah so i don't know if you make youtube videos mm, what are what is your like behavior your attitude towards this fun hobby like does your family know do your friends know um are you like self-conscious like me or are you more open like if anyone asks me or if i feel confident enough to tell somebody i would but if it doesn't come up like in a conversation i won't talk about it about it so yeah i'm because i'm also pretty proud of myself because i think it's a very um weird thing for me to do like a year ago i couldn't imagine that i would be making youtube videos um just a, a year later um it's been a really like important step for me for my mental health for myself esteem self-confidence also um which can seem like counterintuitive because i just said that it makes me nervous and i'm self-conscious but also it helped it helped my self-confidence a little bit because yeah sitting here talking to you for 20 minutes in language that's not my mother tongue it's very um weird 
but also it makes me feel very powerful in some way um like i can talk in another foreign language for 20 minutes straight and like people can understand what i say so it's pretty awesome if you ask me so and i think that my like oral expression really improved um since i started doing youtube um yeah of course i make mistakes and my pronunciation is not perfect but like i was more um i don't know my speech was more unnatural before while now it's a bit more like fluent and i don't have to think about every single word i just my brain works on its own i make sentences without having to think about them too much so yeah but let's talk about the the build for a second i don't know if you like if you're bothered when people talk about something else in their voiceovers let me know because yeah i would like to know if something that i do bothers you um yeah so uh the downstairs is pretty much all com complete and uh, we have some details in the entryway the downstairs bathroom to do and as you can see i did that trick that i saw from um sim Lissy with those two um, console tables from cats and dogs that combined can create a sort of fake piano if you add that keyboard from cd living um but in general i would love to have like a an actual vertical piano i don't know if that's the name in english but in italian it's called like vertical piano i think it's much more common than uh, like grand pianos in in houses like yeah um i can't say that i haven't seen a grand piano in a house because i have but it's like a super peculiar expression um a super pecu peculiar uh situation sorry um so yeah I would love to have more like normal furniture, like a stand-up piano, a vertical piano. And this is the entryway, very simple. There's a rug, a console table and a painting. I uh, like to switch from the usual mirror because yeah, they are my go-to furniture for entryways. And I added this like, um, it's not a jukebox, like it works like a radio but it's not a radio like the thing from get famous which i think it's very fancy and i liked it because it was like outdated looking and this is like the the potions room i added the cauldron and also some shelving units with like ingredients i imagined and stuff i added those cards maybe they are like tarots i, I know that they came with the like, chinese new year update i guess i didn't have the game up back then so i don't know um and some candles to make the atmosphere more magical and yeah and i think this is pretty much it for the downstairs and about the actual family that lives here i don't know um what the two parents do for a living maybe one of them is like a gardener since they have such a big like garden focused area in their in their garden and yeah and the, i just know that the father of this family like loves to read like is so obsessed by reading um it's super into reading um like magical books but not only those kind of kinds of books um it's a very huge bookworm in in my mind at least and this is the parents bedroom it's very simple it's also rather boring i didn't know what to put in here because i like more modern furniture style so when it comes to more older style looking interiors i like struggle a little bit until it comes to like children bedroom children's bedrooms or something like that um like parents bedroom i struggle a lot so yeah but i hope that you will like like my effort or some something like that while the teen i imagine that's that she's a girl and this girl like 
yeah, I like the whole spellcaster, spellcaster thing, but I think that she would like her family to be more normal and her family is very into magic, into like keeping their lives in Glimmerbrook and yeah, they have like very close connections to the magic headquarters or that place that you go to through the portal in Glimmerbrook, I don't know. So yeah, um, and they would love like their daughter to study there, to like build a magical education there. And she's like, yeah, but I think that she would love to be more normal and would love their um, her family to be more ordinary, maybe. So her bedroom, I think that reflects that a, a lot. Um, I gave her more ordinary furniture alongside with some more whimsical one like the wallpaper, the bed, the um, nightstand and also the dresser are, are very like traditional and magical looking while the rest of the furniture that probably she chose for herself is more normal. And I also added some like magazines under the bed. I imagine that maybe she doesn't want their, uh, her parents to to discover that she reads normal magazines maybe. And I gave her a lot of music posters and some of those poofs from movie hangout that I thought were perfect. They were so colorful and I think they are the right compromise between magical and ordinary so why I had to put them there and this is the balcony nothing too special there's a rocking chair and some bee boxes and for the backyard I will add like a well from the one from get famous so it's not a functional well but it's like it looks so good it's perfect for this house and so I had to put it th uh, to put it there and also I added under that like white tree in the back, I added like a rug from Nifty Knitting that acts like a blanket and some other stuff on top of it, like as if it were a sitting spot. Maybe the teen loves to sit there with her friends when they come over. And probably the teen wants to go like to Brightchester to study in university and or maybe San Maishun or something like more uh, urban than Glimmerbrook so yeah I don't know I know that we were talking about the garden but I don't know this came to my mind so I had to tell you and I think that we are pretty much done with this house so I hope you liked it and if you did please make sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I will see you all in my next video and have a great day bye everybody